Solving problems with decimals and fractions. Aiden has one box that is 3 and 3 11 feet tall and a second box that is 3.27 feet tall. If he stacks the boxes, about how tall will the stack be? Let's visualize the two boxes. We have to find the height of the stack. We will do that by combining the height of each box. 3 and 3 11 plus 3.27 will equal that total height. We have a fraction and a decimal. So in order to add the two, let's convert them both to the same form. So I'm going to choose to convert the fraction to a decimal. Three is a whole number, so it will be to the left of the decimal. Three divided by 11 is 0.27 repeated. Let's add that to 3.27 and we will get 6.5427 repeated. The line is over 27 because those are the two digits that will be repeated. Let's round this to the nearest hundredth for our answer. The stack will be about 6.54 feet tall. At a butcher shop, Hilda bought beef and pork. She left with 18 and 8 25 pounds of meat. Express the number of pounds of pork she bought using a decimal. So I know the total amount of meat she bought was 18 and 8 25 I know from this image that the amount of beef she bought was 8 and 17 20 We're going to take that away from the total amount of meat to find the pounds of pork. So we have two fractions here, but they have unlike denominators. We can convert them to the same um, denominator, find some common denominators, or we can also convert them to decimals. And that's what I'm going to do. So 18 is a whole number that will be to the left of the decimal. 8 divided by 25 is 0.32. Now we have eight is a whole number that will be to the left of the decimal. 17 divided by 20 is 0.85. When we subtract the two, we will get 9.47. Hilda bought 9.47 pounds of pork. Taylor has one toy bin that is one and two elevenths feet tall and a second toy bin that is 1.18 feet tall. If he stacks the boxes, about how tall will the stack be? So let's find that combined height. 1 and 2 elevenths plus 1.18 will give us the height of the stack. We are adding one fraction and one decimal, so let's make sure that they're both in the same form. I'm going to convert 1 and 2 elevenths to a decimal. 1 is a whole number, so it will be to the left of the decimal. 2 divided by 11 is 0.18 repeated. Let's add that to 1.18, and we will get 2.3618 repeating. The line is over 1 and 8 because those are the two digits that repeat infinitely. Let's round our answer to the nearest hundredth. The stack will be about 2.36 feet tall. At a bakery, Teresa bought 5 and 24 25 pounds of cookies and some ice cream for a party. She left with 20 and 1 20th pound of desserts. Express the number of pounds of ice cream she bought using a decimal. Well, I know that the total amount of dessert that she bought was 20 and 1 20th pound. This represents the amount of cookies. So we're going to take that away from the total amount of dessert. So let's subtract 5 and 24 25 That will give us the number of pounds of ice cream she bought. We have two fractions here. We can find common denominators and subtract. What I'm going to do is I'm going to convert both of them to a decimal. 20 is a whole number, so it will stand to the left of the decimal. 1 divided by 20 
is 0 0.05. 5 is a whole number, so that will stand to the left of the decimal. 24 divided by 25 is 0.96. When we subtract these two numbers, we will get 14.09. Teresa bought 14.09 pounds of ice cream.